Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own all natural mason jar candles at home. Before we get started, this is a paraffin candle that I saved to remind myself why I will never burn paraffin candles again. Paraffin is basically a waste byproduct of the crude oil or petroleum industry. And this is a clean burning all natural handmade candle made from coconut wax and essential oils. You can obviously see the difference. There is no soot or residue. So I hope this video encourages you to be more aware of what you are burning. Paraffin wax is still the number one most used candle wax. However, the candles we are going to be making are non-toxic and a perfect gift for your friends or family or just burning around the house yourself. And we are going to go ahead and get started. To do this, you will need a melting pitcher or a double boiler, natural candle wicks. I use 6 inch pre tabbed eco wicks in size 10, which are made from natural cotton and paper threads. Each candle will require one wick, a candy thermometer or a kitchen thermometer, a long handled stainless steel mixing spoon, mason jars with lids or glass containers of your choice. Natural wax. I'm using coconut wax, which is my favorite type of wax. It comes in thick sheets and it is very soft, so it can easily be cut with a sharp kitchen knife. If you prefer a harder natural wax, you can also use soy, which looks like this and can be purchased in bags or boxes in small or large quantities. You will also need wooden chopsticks that are connected at the top. You can save these from your favorite Chinese restaurants or order a large bag from Amazon. I also recommend using a digital food or kitchen scale for precision when measuring your wax, especially if you are new to candle making. Finally, you will need essential oils if you would like to add fragrance to your candles. I really like Now Foods brand because they are really affordable and the quality has consistently been very good for me. The first thing you want to do is measure your wax by turning your scale on, placing your pitcher on the scale, and then hitting the tear button so that you are only measuring the contents of your pitcher and not the pitcher itself. Then you can add as much wax as you need. For one 16 ounce mason jar, I find that I need about 14.5 ounces of wax, so I'll multiply that by how many candles I'd like to make. I usually make 4 candles per pitcher, and in this tutorial I'm using 2 pitchers. Next, place your pitchers directly on the stove and turn your burners on medium-low heat. And now you're just going to wait for your wax to melt and you can stir it periodically. While your wax is melting, you can position your wicks by taking one mason jar, one wick, and one pair of chopsticks and positioning the wick between the chopsticks and then placing the wick in your mason jar. You want to position the wick so it touches the bottom of your jar and is centered. Once you've done that, your wick should sit comfortably in the middle and the chopsticks should hold it in place later when you pour your wax. You can do the same thing to all of your jars. Now we're going to go back and check in on our wax. I find that coconut wax usually melts fully at around 170 degrees. You want to avoid overheating your wax because at very high heat the vapors can become extremely flammable so just check it periodically and to be on the safe side avoid letting it reach temperatures higher than 200 degrees. Once your wax is fully melted you can remove it from the burner. I'm just sliding both pitchers over to the burners on the other side of my stove. With coconut wax, I like to add fragrance at around 160 degrees. Using my thermometer will help me determine when my wax hits 160 degrees. At that point, I can go ahead and add my essential oil. For the first pitcher, I'm using clove. As a general guideline with fragrance, you want to add about 1 ounce per pound of wax, but since essential oils are on the more expensive side, I usually add about half of an ounce per pound. Since this is about 4 pounds of wax, I added 2 ounces of essential oil. Next, stir continuously for 2 minutes. Now I'm adding essential oil to my second pitcher of wax using the same process. For this batch, I'm using orange. This entire bottle of essential oil cost me about $7, so it's costing less than $1 to fragrance each candle. Next, I'm going to stir my wax again for two minutes, and then I'm going to let both waxes cool to 150 degrees. Next, you can go ahead and pour your candles using a slow and steady motion. Thank you. 
Once you have finished pouring the first candle, you can go ahead and do the same to all of your other candles. I fill my candles about three quarters of an inch from the top and I like to leave a little bit of room in case I need to do a second pour. You also want to reserve a little bit of wax in case that is needed. So now that all of my mason jars have been filled with wax, I'm going to leave these to harden for the next few hours. And this is the rest of my wax that I will save in case I need to do a second pour. Once your wax has hardened, you can carefully remove all of your chopsticks. You can save these for future candle making. My candles usually have pretty smooth tops when I pour at 150 degrees, but you may have some cracks or discrepancies that look like this. If this happens, all you need to do is reheat your leftover wax to 150 degrees. And then you can pour a very thin layer over the tops of all of your candles. I usually like to let these harden overnight and after that, the tops should all be very smooth and professional looking. When your wax has completely hardened, you can go ahead and trim all of your wicks to about one fourth of an inch using a pair of scissors. And that is how you make all natural homemade candles using coconut or soy wax and essential oils. But we're not done yet because I am going to show you a few of my favorite ways to personalize these candles and make them your own. My mason jars came with silver lids, but I also like to purchase black lids and then switch the lids out to just give them more character. Sometimes I also like to add a wax seal to the top of each lid. This one is a rose. You can also take a piece of twine and a dried flower and tie them together under the lid. These are just a couple of ideas, but be creative and experiment to find what works best for you. And remember that once your candles have completely burned, you can put them in the freezer for a few days and then you can take the candles out of the freezer and carefully loosen the wax with a butter knife. It should come out pretty easily. Then you can dump out the remaining wax and then you can just wash your mason jars or glass containers and reuse them for more candles or drinking glasses or whatever you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you get a chance to try it out for yourselves. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will make sure to answer all of them. And of course, all of the materials that I used will be linked in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.